Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Myra short video series. In this video, we will be talking about general section designer. So as we know, like Myra civil allows to design for a lot of regular sections in the program itself, but often for a case of irregular section, engineer faces trouble like how he can get the capacity or how he can design those sections. So for that general section designer is the solution. And in the following slides, we will be seeing like how you can import any irregular sections from the Midas civil to the general section designer tool and how can you design that. So let's begin. So now we will see how do we import any section from Midas file and the load combinations corresponding to it. So I'll just quickly check my model like you can see. We are having the peer section here, which is this. If I show the properties to you, this is the solid track section that we are having for our peer. It can be any irregular section as well, it doesn't matter. So, now we will also check the load combination. So, you see, some load combinations are already created. So, now for using GSD again, I go to the tools, general section designer. And here is my window for the GSD. Now you will find an option of link here. We select that and click on Midas link. So it will ask you the model window that you want to connect with. I just have the one model window as of now. So I have opened that. I have connected to it. And once that is done, okay, I'll just check my, I'll go to the Midas window again and I will select the section that I want to import. So you see this 488 element number has been selected and once you select that you don't have to do anything else you just need to go back to the general section designer like this and you will find the element 488 here and you need to import that correspondingly it will ask you what load combination that you want to import and section like we are having the section for both and at the same so i'll just select that one and click on ok so in this manner, my section was easily imported. Now you will see the material has already been imported for the RC section for my concrete. For the definition of reinforcement, again, I can give the rebar material just by editing. Select the code, click on OK. I can edit my material as well for the RC section. Like in case you want to define nonlinear property to it. Can just do that similarly. Okay. Now next I can define the reinforcement so I'll just select the parameter option click on that select the section select the dia and the number of rebus that I want So I select all material and the section. Then from the parameter, like suppose we are giving number of bars as 38. Change the reinforcement, choose this as 24. From here you can select like whether it is inside or outside. Once this is done, I click on OK in this manner. So the reinforcement has been defined in this manner. And as I mentioned, like you can also choose the point as well for the definition of reinforcement in this manner. So as of now, we are not doing that. But just to give you an example, once the reinforcement has been defined, now again, if you see the load combination, it has already been incorporated from the model that we have imported. I go to the option, select the design code. I'll keep it as Astral RFD. Click on OK. And then we just need to go to design section and click on design. 
which will ask us to save the model file. Once we do that, the results will be generated. So that is how we can import any section. It can be any regular section as well and all the load combinations corresponding to that. And we can define the reinforcement required. Now coming to the results. So once we perform the design, we get the results in this manner. We have the interaction curve, movement curvature curve and the stress contour. So we can set the units from the bottom right and accordingly the results will be updated. So you see I'm having a PM interaction curve and we can have these values for corresponding to different load combination that we defined. So the results as of now I'm showing is with this octagonal PS section that we define using the manual input. And you can just see how the PM interaction curve is varying and where the model is lying for the demand part. Like you can see this three dot option, the green dot option where it is showing the demand and this is the capacity for the PM interaction curve. Again, you can just see the PM by or PMZ. Similarly, we have the M by MZ and then the 3D for the PM interaction curve. And you will see what is the ratio. For the demand to capacity for the different load combination. You can select the load combinations and you can either show for all the load combination in this manner. Similarly, for the movement curvature curve, you will have the graphical output in this manner and the tabular result in this manner. And then the stress contour. So for the different load combination, you get the stress results. I can change the units from here. Accordingly, the stress results will vary. If I choose it as cracked and for the ultimate. Similarly, for the different load combination, we get the stress results for the rebar as well. So you can get the tabular results in this manner where your y z coordinates for the different rebars will be shown and the corresponding forces and the stresses in them. And we have the report generation for all the results that you see here. We just need to click on report and an Excel report will be generated via this. So this is the Excel report that you found for all the tabular results for MYMZ for the stress and the corresponding property. Similarly, I can generate it for my interaction curves as well. So you see PM by MZ curve property corresponding to it. So that is how we obtain the results. For the other model, if we check the results, so again you can see the interaction curve moment curvature and the stress contour corresponding to it. And you can see the different ratio corresponding. So in this manner, the GSD helps in the different approaches for any irregular section. You get all the outputs, weight, interaction curve, stress contour, moment curvature curve. As of now, you can see that I'm having a regular section, but in case you are having any built up sections or any hammered pair for those sections as well, you can very well work with, it, work with it. So to conclude, in this video, we have seen like general section designer is the tool that helps you to obtain the design results and traction curves for any irregular or general sections that might be not possible in Midas 7 or even outside of the program. So I hope this video was really helpful for you. See you in the next.